So I did a thing and now we're in Minneapolis, Minnesota and we're ice drifting. <laughs> I kid you not, we are ice drifting on a frozen over lake. I've never done something this crazy before. I'm feeling spontaneous. <laughs> we're here with Texas Drift Academy using their Nissan 350Zs. I think it's a great learning experience for me. This is not only my first time drifting on a track. I mean, do you really call a frozen over lake a track? I don't know. But on top of that, I get to practice on an actual 350C, which is what my drift car is. We've got an angle kit, the sick Texture Drift Academy livery. These studded tires. Oh, these are sharp. Get in. Get in? Okay. I guess we're going for a ride. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh. All right, so how much should I your car like? Direction. Don't come <laughs> No. <laughs> so yeah, do a flick here. Do a nice hard flick. Yeah. Go out this way. No, flick that way. No, all the throttle. All the throttle. All the throttle. Keep carrying it. That was a lot of gas. So, so will you relax, woman? Relax. Yes. Relax. I can, I can do that. You were like, da 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 da. Yep. Swing. Very good. Very good. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Do it again. Go. Four. Four. Four steering is what? Good, good, good. Now switch. Four, 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 four. Keep in it, keep in it. So it appears the camera fell off the mount sometime while drifting. And out of pure luck, we found it. I don't know how, but we found it. We got a metal detector from City Hall. And yeah, here's the stick. There's the <laughs> Wait. Oh wait, yeah, camera test. But yeah, we, we somehow found the camera. It was sticking up from the ground. Um, in other news, we now know that the Insta360 selfie stick is not ice drifting approved because it totally snapped off from just how cold it was. Like, this is wild. Maybe it's still usable. I, I don't I don't think so. My memorabilia. So after putting the camera, we're back in the car to go for another round. I got really frustrated today. Somehow on day two, I'm performing worse than day one. Like a lot worse. I think it's mostly because I got frustrated and it's getting to my head. So it took some time to cool down. And now we're gonna go ahead and go for another round. So let's go. Things hurt. It has been wounded. No, it definitely, definitely is not turning back on. No, no, it won't turn back on. Um, that's okay. Right before then, you were killing it. The car just couldn't handle it. Yeah, so it's not me. Go, bestie, Bob. I think I would have killed that turn. It, the gas. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I kind of messed up my car a little bit. The alternator went out. It wasn't my fault though this time. Surprisingly, I didn't crash or anything. So we're doing pretty good. I was actually killing it. I was stealing it up. We still have tomorrow to go on the track, but I am leaving tomorrow night. So we got to make the most out of tomorrow. But yeah, that's it for the day. Feeling good about it. Feeling good. Very nice. Mwah. Good morning, car humans. It's the new day. And it's also like 10 hours until I have to go to the airport to go back home to Houston. The goal of today is to not hit any barriers. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I think I got this. Yesterday, I got into my head a lot, but after I took a second and chilled out, I got back into the groove of things. We had a couple things that happened. The alternator decided to go to sleep, and my camera decided to fling off the car. It was definitely a day. So let's go out and see how we're gonna perform today. I think I got this. I think I'm gonna kill it. It's a wild 240 out in the cold. Will it drift today? That is the question. Okay, we got to the lake, and uh, the goal is not to fall and bust my booty. Sorry, I should have drifted today. Probably not. Uh, 
Oh my god, this is a weapon. Oh, this is sharp. Oh my god. Why do I feel like it's extra cold today? I think Houston really spoiled me because it's only 39 degrees. That's not horrible, but just not used to like being able to walk on water. I'm basically Jesus. We're at the lake. The cars are piled in. Which one do we go with? Do we go with the one that we went with yesterday that decided to sleep on us? Or the OG blue one? I think the OG blue one's a vibe. I was way more comfortable in this car for some reason. I know it's probably all in my head. They're all the same car. This car just had the gabagoo. It had all the vibes were in this car. I can't put this push the seat up. Oh my God, short girl problems. Can I press the clutch in all the way? No, no, I can't. Ah! Oh my God. We're settled in. Just casually an F-350 with a car hauler on the back. I almost just slipped there. Sitting on frozen water. Got the GoPro, so we're actually gonna film today. Nice, everything's functional. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and follow Tim right now to the course. I'm curious to see which track we go on today. There are a couple tracks all around the lake. This lake is 10 acres. It's massive. And every single time you get sick of one track, you just plow another one. That's amazing. <laughs> before I left in Minneapolis, I told my mom, hey, I'm leaving. She never asked why, so I just didn't bother to say. And then I'm like, hmm, let me just text her this video of me drifting on the ice. For good old sakes. I just wanted to see her reaction. And uh, yeah, yeah, she was mad. She was a big mad. She gave me the good old, why are you risking your life? I don't understand. But we're gonna bring back the 2012 term of YOLO. Oh God, I'm so cringy. <laughs> my suit of armor. I know I got a big head. All right, first track of the day. First lap of the day, we're gonna take a warm up lap first to get a sense of the track. These cars have a tendency to get really hot, so you have to take two laps and then one cool down lap. There are no tow rigs right now, so if we get stuck, we are stuck. We gotta figure out our way out. It looks like the snow banks aren't too high, so we might get lucky. All right, I think we can just take a rip at it now.
lunch and now we're in a new car. Look at that thing. So not only does this have a different clutch, but it's also way faster. It's go-go time. There are dogs on the track. What do we do? Um, is this what we're doing? Um, they're literally just running on the track. What do I do here? They're so oh, cute. Oh, oh. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. Hello, little doodle. Definitely don't go that way. Definitely do not go that way. Definitely don't go that way either. This is new. He's a cutie, though. They're both really cute. Who's your owner? Well, oh, happily take you home, buddy. All right, the doggos are safe, and now we're putting our helmets on to go onto the new track. So, update. We're going to tandem for the first time. Let's see how this goes. Josh is going to be riding behind us and we're going to be the lead car. Okay, let's go. So good news and bad news. Tandeming went great. It was absolutely epic. First time doing it, I think it did pretty good. Uh, bad news, I ran over my phone. Yeah, that was pretty tragic. So basically how it happened was I was setting up the GoPros in Josh's car. And by the way, he's actually a Formula Drift driver, which I forgot to mention before. He was in the car that was following me. So I was setting up the GoPro on top of his windshield. And then I put my phone down and I guess I forgot about it because then Josh told me that he saw something flying off the hood of the car and it was my phone. So anyways, now I'm at a busy airport and I have no phone and I also have no clue how to get back from the airport to my house. I try to memorize the navigation as best as I can, but if we get lost, well, at least we're lost in the Miata. The Miata has no GPS, but anyways, let's take a look at my phone. So here's how it looks. It's a lot worse. I put this like plastic film over it to keep all the glass from falling apart. It literally looks so bad. Basically the studs from the tires went into the phone. Imagine going to the Apple store and be like, yeah, I was ice drifting and I completely ran over my phone on a frozen over lake. I don't know if that's covered by Apple insurance. The night's not over yet, so let's figure out if we actually end up getting home. Well, look who it is, Mazda Miata. Well, technically you know Roaster, cause trademark. So my flight ended up being an hour delayed. So it's literally past midnight right now. And I still have to get home. So I still have another hour and a half drive home and have no clue where I'm going. So while I figured that out, make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment what else you wanna see on the channel because we're getting regular uploads. This is gonna happen. Long form videos are coming, my guys. I just wanna get home. <laughs>